Okay, to start off the lesson, these are some words you need for the first activity utilizing vocabulary. Bolígrafo, calculadora, carpeta, carpeta de argollas, cartel, computadora portátil, la clase de, diccionario, cuaderno, lápiz, libro, papel, el profesor de, puerta, and reloj. In order, they are translated this way. Pen, calculator, folder, three ring binder or binder, poster, laptop or portable computer, the class of, dictionary, notebook, pencil, book, paper, the teacher of, door, and clock. The goal of this unit is to describe your school classes and teachers. Right now we're going to talk about the verb tener. Alright guys, tener means to have. Please write this down in your notebooks. Tener means to have. Tener is an unusual verb because it's a stem changing verb. That's something we'll talk about in the next chapter in more detail. And it's also irregular in the yo form. As I was telling you guys at the beginning of class, there are four unique verbs you will encounter in this chapter that are all irregular in the yo form. They're written here on the board. They are tener, hacer, poner, and traer. Tener is to have, hacer, to make or to do. Poner, to put or to set, like to set a table. And traer is to bring. All right, let's repeat the forms of tener in the present tense together. Repitan, tengo. Tienes. Tiene. Tenemos. Tiene. Tener is a stem changing verb, which means it changes spelling in the stem, in the middle of the verb, it changes spelling. But you may notice there's no stem change in the yo form or the nosotros form. It is correct to not have a stem change in the nosotros form. Again, we'll talk more about that in the next chapter. But in the yo form, it's irregular, meaning that it's spelled very differently. So here are some example sentences. Yo tengo cinco libros. Tú tienes una casa bonita. Nosotros tenemos mucha tarea. Repitan. Yo tengo. Cinco años. Sorry, cinco años. Yo tengo. Sorry. Repitan. Yo tengo. Cinco libros. Tú tienes. Una casa. Bonita. Nosotros. Tenemos. Mucha tarea. Very good. Okay. Copy this model down. This format here. Copy that down. We're talking about having to do something, like a task, a chore, or an activity. Um, even if it's something you like to do, like if you like to exercise, tengo que hacer ejercicio. I have to exercise. Tengo que levantar pesas. I have to lift weights. Tengo que. That's the, um, that's the format or the model that you need to memorize there. Tener que plus the infinitive verb. What are infinitive verbs in Spanish? How can you tell if, if it's an infinitive verb? Yes. Muy bien, sí. Um, an infinitive verb is going to end in AR, ER, or IR. When you see a verb that ends in AR, ER, or IR, it is infinitive. I usually think that meant that it goes on forever and ever and ever. That type of, like, infinity, infinitive. And what it actually means is that it has not been defined. It's infinite. It's not been defined. Um, so when a verb ends in AR, ER, or IR, it's essentially like saying to study, to walk, 
to read, to learn, to talk. There's no subject attached to it, right? If we conjugate, then we get verbs like I walk. Well, okay, that's a complete sentence. You read, that's also a complete sentence. And that has a subject and an action, not just an action alone that has not been defined. That's what they mean by infinitive. So, last thing you need to copy down are these sentences here. This is a lot to memorize. All this information here, we're going to write that down. You've got the resource, and we'll kind of tuck that away. The main thing we're going to focus on is the model thener plus k plus infinitive. Repitan, tener frío. Tener calor. Tener miedo. Everybody, please. Tener miedo. Tener razón. Tener prisa. Tener hambre. Tener sed. Tener años. Muy bien. I'll give you a few minutes to copy these down. All right, I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording.